Hey guys, it's Cassini here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Continual Mod Manager, the Disney Infinity 3.0 integration, and the Breeze Mod for Disney Infinity 3.0 Gold Edition. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is use whatever browser you use. I use Firefox, and you're going to want to open up these two links in the description, the Google Drive link and the Nexus Mods link. So, once you're over here, which um, I recommend doing first, you're going to want to go down and well, I'll pop open the requirements. You can read this if you want. It includes all the character lists and all the toys and all that fun stuff. But you're gonna wanna click the requirements first. And then you're gonna wanna go all the way down to all set requirements and then you're gonna wanna download Continuum Mod Manager 1.2. So just click the name. And then it should download something up here. I have this because I have a download booster. So um, it should start downloading. Once it's done, you're gonna wanna um, go over to your downloads folder, wherever it is, and you're going to want to double click it and run it. So this doesn't matter, just click next and then install, doesn't really also matter. So then it'll do this, and then it's done. I would recommend clicking this because we're going to need it in a hot minute. So just click finish, and then it'll open. So, you see, we don't have the Disney Infinity 3.0 integration. We need that. So, another thing you would do is so you want, you would go all the way to back to the top. Well, no, you wouldn't. My bad. You would go back to down here, to the Nexus requirements. You would um, um, either double click this if you want. I'm going to open it in a, in a new tab. So, you would open it in a new tab or whatever, and then you would go over here, and then this is the config files and all that fun stuff. So you want to go to files right here, uh, manual download for whatever this is, the main files, um, and so it'll pop up. We already have Continuum, so we don't need to do this. You click download, slow download right here, and then it'll start. Again, it'll be up here. I just have faster downloads. All right, so once you have that downloaded, you want to go find it wherever it is in your downloads. You're probably going to want to right click it and then click extract all and just um, just click extract it doesn't matter so it'll do that and then this should open you'll see this so now you want to go back to continuum click open settings and then you want to click add integration now what you can do is it'll probably show up right here but if it doesn't you want to go click over here back to where this is, where it just opened up, you're going to click, well, you're going to want to click this, press control C, and then go over here, put it up here, control V for paste, and then you can go click it. And then it'll spin for a minute. And then it's added, which is good. So now we're going to want to click it, and then you see it says this. Some integration settings have not been set up. Click to set up now. So we're going to click the blue button. And then it'll say game installation path. And we don't know what this is, but I know how to find it. And you will too. So now we're gonna go back to our Steam and then go over here to wherever your little icon is. We're gonna right click it, um, go down to manage, and then browse local files. So then this will open again. I you won't have some of these folders, I just have them because I mob game. But so then once you're in this, you don't have to touch anything. You just have to go back up here and did what we do before. Control C and then go back in here and then Control V. Save. And then you're just going to click out and then you're going to click set up and then set up now. This will take a minute, so I'll be back. I'll, I'll be back with you guys when it's done. Alright, so now once that's done, we're done with setting up the integration and continue a mod manager. Now we just have to download Breeze or whatever mod you want to install, and we can add it. So first we have to download it. So we can close this, we don't need it anymore. So me personally, I like to download from Google Drive. Um, it, the download speed is much faster, but 
for some people it does give errors so you can go back to nexus and click on files and then download it if it's giving you errors you do not have to though and i prefer to download from google drive so then on google drive you can go here and then you can click the download button right here so you can click download and then it'll do this the file does not have any viruses i made it myself and i know and many other people can vouch so you're going to click download anyway right here and then it'll download up here it will take a minute on google drive but it, it will take much longer on nexus because they have a download cap so, so yeah so then you'll get a dot mod file so then it'll open it and this is the just the dot mod file on on a on nexus you will get a dot zip file for the dot zip file you will do the same extraction process we did for the integration so, but anyway if we go to continuum mod manager we click add mod um, we go and we're going to back out of this back into our downloads folder and then you're going to find the breeze version dot mod then we're going to double click it this process takes a while because breeze is such a big mod so it will spin for a while it is not stuck i can promise you so just again wait it out it will work All right, now once it's done, it should appear here. So then you're just gonna click on it and you can do this, it's optional, but before you click install, you can go over to the options tab and you can tick any of these you want. This one turns on, turns on crash mode for premium, um, it disables crashes, well, mostly for premium Hulkbuster, premium Buzz Lightyear, and Nemo. For, um, it reduces crashes for Premium Hulkbuster and Premium Buzz Lightyear, but it removes crashes from Nemo. It has the cost of removing some content, though. This updates the Hall of Heroes and the Hall of Superheroes, but the textures are extremely broken, so you can choose to add, turn this on if you wish. You can add the Premium Elsa textures, um, but it replaces the normal Elsa textures. The, you can add the Light Up X characters for the Hall of Heroes unlocks, but they sort of fill up the um, selection screen, so you can add this if you want. You can also um, max out the toy box memory, which increases it, and you can build bigger toy boxes with it. I prefer to have them all checked, so I'm going to do that. P please keep a note once you install it. Um, these cannot be changed, and you will have to uninstall the mod to check them off and uncheck them or whatever you like. So once you're done configuring these, you can click save and it'll done. It'll be done and you can click install. This is another long and tedious process, so give it a minute. Alright, now that that's done, well, you pretty much co completed the installation. Now, what you can do is you can grab whatever device you like, I prefer controller, you can click play and it'll work. Uh, it sometimes does take a minute, but it will play with all of the new characters, items, power discs, all that fun stuff. We'll give it a minute, I can provide a little sneak peek if you haven't installed a mod with me yet. So, first, 
first we go into my collection as you can see new characters have been added and you can obviously pick one and go to build the new build menu new toy box any and continue and the character will load and then you can play around keep in mind the mod is obviously not finished it is a work in progress and I will continue to update the mod to my best of to the best of my ability. Um, so there will be bugs, obviously. So I hope you have fun with the mod and I will see you later in the next episode of this saga.